Hi there. Uh, here we are with a patient that just came in for a follow-up. We're going to be doing another procedure on today. Uh, but he's a patient who had a previous older style transplant where he had the old plug technique. Now he had two plug surgeries in the past and what we did is we went and went through the old shotgun harvested donor. It's termed shotgun harvested donor because that's a slang term for when somebody's been punched uh, multiple times for multiple surgeries. This is the suture line that I left this patient. Okay. I did a max harvest hair transplant procedure where I started all the way over from this one side and I went all the way around. You can see this little trace line. That is the suture line I left this patient. Okay, and this goes all the way around and I'll show the camera that in a minute. Now today we're going to do another procedure where I'm going to go above that to get the patient more hair and then I'm going to continue to clean up his older style grafting techniques. And these are the little holes that are left behind from the old plugs. You can see them running through there. I'm going to show you further along where he had some more plugs taken from back here. Okay, so now you can see this area where all these little scarred areas that are left without hair, okay, these, this is called shotgun harvested donor. What they did in the past is they would use an instrument that would look something like this. They would take that instrument, they would punch a hole out of the back, they would take this area that was punched out and then punch a hole on the top of the head and then plug it in. Hence the term plugs, okay? So this is how the older styles were and it left the patient with this area where they couldn't shave their hair down. Well, when I did his strip harvested technique, my suture line's right underneath here, okay? This is my suture line from before, right here, okay? You can even follow this all the way around here, through here. So this is my old suture line running through here and then you can see where this runs up here and that's the suture line okay this is what I left this particular patient what's happened now is now there's a new procedure called a follicular unit extraction well a follicular unit extraction is now instead of using a punch that's the size of this we're now using a smaller punch that could be maybe 1.5 millimeters 1, 1 millimeter in diameter okay so I'm going to show you what that 1.5 millimeter punch looks like let's just 1.5 I'm putting it up fresh right now okay so here's that 1.5 millimeter instrument and now let's look at it from the top okay so it's a smaller area okay so now what they're do having what they're doing is they're taking this punch okay and punching this like this and then they're trying to take that little follicular unit out by itself, okay? When they take that follicular unit out one by one, they call it a scarless procedure. In actuality, you get this, but you get more of this because it's now smaller, because it's a smaller punch. So instead of this larger area, you get all these smaller polka dot little areas. The problem with this, well there's multiple problems, is first of all, if I have to punch using this tiny little instrument, there's such a higher probability of me damaging the follicle because I'm trying to punch it out blindly with the little apparatus like this, okay? So there's more of a chance of transaction, there's more of a chance of the, the follicle being harmed, there's more scar tissue underneath. So when I go back to try to get more hair, like today, I'm gonna to be going through here, but what happens is, is the scar tissue underneath there affects how I get that hair out of there, okay? If I can go into what's called a virgin donor where there's no scars, I'm gonna have a much better chance of getting better hair versus if I have to go through scar tissue. So when we go through the scar tissue, we have much more transaction of the follicles, which means less hair for the patient. Keep in mind, this is what I just showed you. My suture line over here is running through here, okay? Let's show you again where it's wide open, okay? This is, you can see the suture line on a shaved head. This is shaved down. That's the suture line. It's undetectable. The patients can shave their head and you can't see that. So when patients seek out follicular extraction, it makes zero sense. I can't understand why a patient would seek out follicular extraction when you can get a scar that's undetectable versus multiple polka dot scars, which are gonna yield you less hair. 
I can get you a strip surgery with seven to 8,000 hairs and harvest that donor in under a half hour or less where you're gonna spend two days for them to try to poke your little hairs out one by one and destroy your follicles. There's a better way to do this out there.